Hello, this is video log 9 on the 13th of September 2017. I um, spent most of yesterday at uh, a and &E. I was probably there about four or five hours because I felt as if my shoulder was dislocated again and it just it was so painful and I could barely move it. And um, eventually I saw a nurse who put it back in place, then did some x-rays which came back normal um, and I asked to speak to the consultant and he said that the reason this has been happening to me and the reason my shoulder's hanging down on the right side and why it's hard to move is because I've basically got something called shoulder instability which happens when um, your ligaments in the joint all get stretched so they don't hold the joint together properly and that just means that it can sublux or dislocate all the time in multiple directions so it's probably constantly subluxing and then going back into place and that would explain why um, it's sometimes worse than others and why it's just so painful and difficult to move and Apparently, um, feeling like your arm is hanging down uselessly at the side is, is sort of part of this shoulder instability condition. So, um, I'm going to be seeing a shoulder specialist around the beginning of October and hopefully they'll be able to do a more detailed assessment and give me a formal diagnosis and everything. But it's not really good news because there's not much they can do for this um, other than months of physiotherapy and possibly surgery eventually but um, surgery doesn't work well on people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome so I, I don't know if that would even be an option for me anyway so the upshot is the arm's not really going to get better um, and I'll just have to use it with it being painful and sort of flopping around in the joint but I'm thinking about maybe trying to buy a shoulder brace to see if that helps because I know a lot of people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome do that so I was feeling a bit depressed about it at first but um, I'm glad to know what it is and there's no point in me going back to Amy again um, the joint just comes in and out all the time and I've just got to deal with it at home um, so yeah that's everything that happened yesterday and today after spending so many hours at a and &E, I'm just feeling really tired I'm um, in Siku the dog's private bedroom here with him because I always find when I'm feeling a bit down that being with him makes me feel better um, and it's only about a week until I'm starting my university course so I'm getting even more worried about that but um, hopefully Hopefully I can manage it. Bye-bye.